sunshines! This video is going to be super quick and my hair is a mess, my face is what it is, I'm just in lounge clothes today, but I couldn't cut off filming this video anymore and I put a poll up on Instagram asking if you guys wanted to see like a first impressions video on my YouTube channel and have me unbox it on my Instagram channel or if I should just do a full-on unboxing on my YouTube channel and I didn't wait for all the results to come in not gonna lie but overwhelmingly the response even though it was only one or two people was unbox it on your YouTube channel so here I am normally I film on this side when I hold stuff up this is awkward. This is the biggest Besame box and order I have made so far. I have completely forgotten what is inside this box except for one item. So it's gonna be a surprise for all of us. <laughs> I really just love their packaging. It's just so cute. I remembered an opening device this time. That's exciting. What I love about Besame Cosmetics is that they are cruelty free, they are made locally, they're family owned, they are small batch cosmetics. There are quite a few of the products that are vegan, not all of them are, and not all of the products in this box are either. As we've talked about in my last video where I talked about going vegan and my vegan journey, I am a work in progress. Inside there are two sections. There's some tissue paper stuff and then there's this, and this is what I remember. So I'm going to come back to this and I'm gonna start with these guys. Oh yes, okay, it's all coming back to me. So first of all, I got this translucent blush. It's a delicate rouge, and this is in the color 1915 Rose. This is a powder blush, if I remember correctly. It's on this little cardboard paper thing that just kind of holds it in place. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is beautiful packaging. It's beautiful, kind of purpley undertoned pink, and that's the kind of blush I feel like flatters my face the most, so that's why I got it and I'm really excited to try this out. The next up is this Besame Cream Rouge, and this is in the color, this is from 1938. I don't remember what color it is, but I'll look on the back, and this one is vegan. It is in the color Crimson 704. This packaging is beautiful. I'm just, oh, I'm amazed. I'm just so flab flabbergasted and delighted. There it is. Oh, this smells so good. It smells kind of like old candy. I'm really excited to try this out. And then I purchased two of the cashmere foundation sticks because I wasn't sure which one was my color. So I got the color 807 True Beige and 808 Natural Beige because I figured like for summer and they're $10 and they're limited run so I just got both because I think I can make them work for many seasons. This is what the packaging looks like for these guys. So beautiful, it's like their lipsticks. Metal and feel really high quality. It's a twist up stick foundation. Really excited to try these out. And now onto this bad boy. I know what this is and I'm so excited about it. Here we go. It's the Peggy Carter lipstick collection thing. So excited about this. On the front it says, hand deliver to Margaret P. Carter, Griffith Hotel, New York City, New York. It's the Field Agent Lip Kit. So inside there are three lipsticks. Our Sweet Dreams, Forget Me Not, and Always Be True. It's officially licensed with Marvel, which is awesome. One of the coolest things about this collection is that there was a really long timeline leading up to it. It was such an experiential campaign that they did around this collection and it was so neat and so cool. And then for the longest time, people didn't even know it was inside the box because people hadn't received them yet and no one had done unboxings and a lot of people just ordered them blindly because the website, it's like it shows you the outside packaging and that's about it and it's so cool. It is $68 on Besame's website, which to purchase three full-size lipsticks on from Besame is about $66. So for $2 more, you're getting this limited edition collection, the packaging, and everything else inside. This is the box. It's a beautiful jewelry box, an authentic recreation of Agent Peggy Carter's lipstick featured in the television series Agent Carter. Oh my gosh! There's a picture of Howard Stark with love, Howard, and then a letter. A letter. So the letter says, Peggy, say hello to your newest piece of tech courtesy of Stark Industries. For security purposes, it will appear to be an ordinary jewelry box. Pull that tab on the side to uncover the real gems, three lipsticks that pack a real punch. To make our tech as convincing as possible, these products will resemble the popular cosmetics brand Besame. To the public, these look like three top-notch lipstick tubes, but the numbers on the front let you know what they really do. Commit these to memory. 102 Sweet Dreams, a neutral red lipstick suitable for everyday wear. Careful with this one. A single kiss on the lips and your date is out like a light. 103 Forget Me Not, a natural rose shade that looks like your lips but better. If someone spills the beans during a mission, I know it'd never be you. A single kiss on the lips and they won't remember the last 12 hours. 104 Always Be True, 
a highly pigmented and saturated red. Dense, bright, and deep. Sometimes you don't have the luxury of good cop, bad cop. One kiss on the lips with this shade and no one will be able to lie to you. Use them wisely, my friend, Howard. There's a tab here that we're gonna pull. It reveals the lipsticks. These are gorgeous. The packaging is amazing. The interesting thing about these compared to other packagings is that they have a sort of notch. I don't know if you guys can see that here. I'll try to do a close up. Uh, that runs along where the words are and there's a notch here so they they fit in a specific way where normally they're lipsticks you can put them together in any configuration and then also on the inside there's an etched Marvel logo which is also a great little touch this is a beautiful collection I'm a Besame fanatic and I regret so much not purchasing the Snow White collection when it was available and now it's sold out especially the mirror <laughs> Oh, I wish I had purchased the mirror. I will buy almost anything that Besame makes, and I love Agent Carter, so this was a must for me. I will say, however, though, that the three lipsticks in this collection are not new lipsticks to the Besame line. They're repackaged and renamed for the purpose of this kit. But these three colors that they renamed, Sweet Dreams, Forget Me Not, and Always Be True, are actually Red Velvet, Red Hot Red, and Dusty Rose. So if you own any of those colors by Besame Cosmetics already, unless you are a sucker for packaging which I am as well so that also plays into this purchase then you probably don't need them just know that if you've already gotten those lipsticks you already have the colors that were actually used on Peggy Carter for the show this is just a repackaging and an amazing branding job and an amazing collection put together to make the Marvel and Agent Carter fans all around the world like myself super excited. Okay, well there you guys have it. That is my Best May Cosmetics haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed unboxing it and showing it to you guys for the first time. If you are interested in checking out my previous video about Best May Cosmetics, it's linked up above for you guys to check out. I reviewed a few of the lipsticks that I purchased the last round. Also, in the time between videos, I am super active on my Instagram channel. I am always on there posting pictures, I'm really active in stories, I post a lot of polls, so if you guys want to get in touch with me or interact with me, Instagram is definitely the best way to do it. I am also on Twitter, my name is at Malaray on both of those channels, and I hope that we can connect on the times in between videos. I'm trying to get back to my schedule desperately, but sometimes I'm just not able to film. I'm working on getting the upstairs room where I'm filming right now a little more conducive to sewing and also filming, so fingers crossed that that starts to come together. Okay, well, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.